Good morning. Press the Migrate Data button and pick the source of Snowflake, the database in the schema, and you'll see the objects in that schema come up. Now pick the target that you want to migrate data to, and we have picked Databricks, and we're going to put it in our database of SQL class. Now, all you do is check mark the tables that you want to move. You can do 10,001 just shot there and or pick the ones you want. When you hit the blue arrow, those are going to move from Snowflake to Databricks. You see, Nexus is a query tool, but the lifeblood advantage is that it's got so many different utilities that move data. Big data, small data, thousands of tables. Right now, Nexus is converting the table structures from Snowflake to Databricks, and then it will begin to build the load utilities, and then it will run those. And as you can see, every time it turns green, that means it was moved successfully, the table and the data. You're going to see how we integrate Snowflake and Databricks together to become one system. We can move data, migrate data. I'll show you several ways, but the important point here is we're going to be able to do joins across both systems in a sense as if they're one giant ecosystem. The data warehouse could now be for you data anywhere from any system. We'll be able to join data from Databricks and Snowflake across 30 different systems, just like you're seeing now. Now, this is the log, so we can individually look at the logs based on how the load scripts were built. If there's any errors, we would see that. So we can see how you move data seamlessly. Anybody can do this. We've got more sophisticated pieces of this. So if you wanted to do transformations, you want to change the target table structures, We've got all that in here, but the real point is in seconds, we're able to migrate data directly between any and all systems. And this is complete. Now I'm going to show you something next that's really amazing. I just showed this to a customer of ours. I just ran a query on Databricks and the customer was pretty amazed. And I've got my answer set. This is SQL. This is what it was originally designed to do. This came from Databricks, that's the result set. I'm gonna rename this ABC test. Now notice my snowflake trees open. I'm in the SQL class. I'm just gonna drag that result from Databricks over to the snowflake tables. Watch this, it's gonna create the table ABC test with the data. That's how easy we make it to move and migrate data so anyone can do it. Now I'm gonna open up the super join builder and you're gonna see me do something very clever here. Nexus will allow me to drag in a table to the super join builder. This is a snowflake table. I can press then the add join button. It'll show me what it joins with on snowflake. Those are tables that I've already told it these join together. Business user just has to pick the columns they want to see on the report from these tables and Nexus automatically builds the SQL and this will work on all systems. No, so I've gone to the columns tab. This is how the columns at the top will look. Those are the order. The ones on the bottom aren't there, but I can move them up. I can change the order here like a Rubik's cube and this is exactly the way the report will come out. And now I'm joining three tables. I can say, how do I want the data sorted? Go to the order by tab, just select anything here, double clicking, you can change it to descending, and the order by statement is here. So you will see this data ordered. Now I'm gonna go back to the home. It's ready to go. I execute this. I've run a three table join on Snowflake, and there are my rows but watch very carefully because this is where it just gets ingenious. I'm going to now open up my Databricks. I'm going to join Databricks 
right with Snowflake. Just drag it in, touch the table you want this to join with. It'll say, hey, I've never seen this join before. Can you tell me how these two tables join? And you go, yeah, state and state. Now I will have a four table join, three from Snowflake, one from Databricks, and now the SQL is built. And because the hub is Snowflake, and I'll show you what that means next, the Databricks table will move over to Snowflake temporarily. The join will happen, and then it will delete that table. Here it comes, 2,000 rows. We have just joined Databricks with Snowflake, and it was fast and seamless. Now, I'm going to go to the hub here. I could run this on Databricks. Or I could do it on SQL Server, anything. The hub can be anything. I'm even going to save this join for later. I can set up my entire business user community to have this right already pre-done. They can change the columns when they bring it up. I'll show you some clever things, but here is the really amazing thing. I just made my hub up there on the right, my PC. This will now query all of these tables separately, bringing back only the tables and the columns and rows it needs. And I just did this. Everything was done by the CPU of my PC because I chose that. Now, I don't have to bring this up. I can just go down to this federated area and say, hey, I want to um, I'm gonna run that Snowflake and Databricks federated query that I had earlier. So now my nexus is back to nothing, and I say execute that. Now it's doing a federated query across Snowflake and Databricks, bringing it back to my PC, and I get the result set. I'm Tom Coffing, CEO, Coffing Data Warehousing.